That's right, there's a raccoon in this episode. Don't you worry, we'll get to it. You can't really see because it's kind of blowing out, but it is magical out here right now. This is 8.15 at night. It's beautiful. Fayetteville, gorgeous, looking great. What's up? I am David Long here at Nomads. A couple years ago, I painted this picture right here, and pretty recently, I painted this picture back here. Here's the video. So yeah, my art is living here at Nomads for the time being. It's all all back there. And uh, you should come in and, and check it out if you're in the Fayetteville area. It's great to see you. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> yeah, the food is 
great here at Nomads. What'd you get? What, we, what did we get? We got some kind of uh, jackfruit. Jackfruit tacos. Jackfruit tacos. Vegan with jackfruit tacos. Purple slaw. With purple slaw. Chalupa. Add some tomatoes, orange, lime, and strawberries on the side. Avocados. A little bit extra. Anyways, I'm feeling really good about it. I'm very pleased that she has such a beautiful print of a painting by David Long. Yes! <laughs> this Nomad's painting, this one with the, with the owl, when I was asked to paint it, they asked me to paint something with the theme of Nomad's and I had no idea what to do. But I painted all these little tiny Nomad's in it. You can kind of see, look, if you get real close, you can see that there's some tiny little Nomad's Tiniest little. And a little I've always been a huge fan of Salvador Dali, and so probably the original inspiration for this piece is this painting on the right. And probably the first painting I did directly influenced by this painting is this painting on the left, which I show you in vlog 7. And for people who have known me for a really long time, this painting also made it onto the cover of my second album, which was made for my ex-wife and is no longer available, called Music from the Window. But I'm really excited about the potential of this new series of paintings where the individual has a relationship to the landscape and you see this bigger picture of kind of a hidden sacred reality underneath. In this particular owl painting, I like to say that there's an invisible pyramid in the middle of it. And it was this painting that inspired the beautiful deer painting. I get caught in my reflection too. I get caught in my reflection too. Like those ones. Some people around here like things like salt and vinegar crickets. Or hey, if you don't like that, there's sour cream and onion crickets. Delicious. Ew! Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Who's your friend, my girl? Sagas just saw mama birds swoop in and feed the baby birds. Right out there on the balcony. Ten. Me and my girl dog, Sophia, we are on a mission to go get some boards. So that way I can paint those boards and then put prints on those boards. Board mission. When you're bored, go on a board mission. Rolling down mission, on a board mission. Pure superstition, driving all blindfolded, pure intuition. Doing it with my dog, my little dog. She's so helpful, happy. <laughs> we are looking for the board that is not too thick. See, that's that's too thick. We want something really wide, but also kind of thin. All right, here we go. This is thin. Just thin like that, so wide. All right. Sophia, she doesn't like the sound of the saw. Making friends with everyone. Okay, apparently Inta Juice changed. Now it's called Natural State Smoothies. So we'll have to see what this will be like. Yeah, same, same. We'll see how the, the edges are looking kind of rough. I'm gonna definitely need to sand these before I paint them or stain them or whatever I'm gonna do.
stinky and it needs to get ventilated. Those chemicals are real harsh. These prints are $30. If you want one, you can hit me up here about it. So, say it once, say it twice, third time the charm. Oh! <laughs> Baby, do you have a pen? Maybe we can. Oh, I know. You have to play charades. Yeah. Ah, good, good. Uh, here we go then. Ready? Um, two words. Right. Ah. Uh, first word, two syllables. Breakfast orange, orange beetle, uh, beetle fruit, beetle juice. Yes, that's it. Her name's Beetlejuice. Ah, yes, it twice. Just say it once more. Come on. Beetlejuice. It's showtime. And now for our feature presentation. This is my buddy Beetlejuice. He's okay. Beetlejuice. He gets a little bit of vertigo, so. Yeah, he's got cerebral palsy. But he's Beetlejuice okay. is the oldest recorded living raccoon in captivity with cerebral palsy. He's Aww. 10 years old. 10! Aww. You too. <laughs> raccoon chew in your face. Yeah. That's he's how so I got the brainworms. He's so sweet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? He is awesome. He loves to be on camera. <laughs> he loves attention. He loves snuggling the most. You're good. You're good, huh? He does love snuggling. He's great. You're so nice. He's like this. <laughs> He's having he would a real live stuffed animal teddy bear. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. And look at his and look at his <laughs> pink little nails. They're purpley fuchsia. His little his little nail sheets. Yeah. He's had blue ones too, he's had all kinds of colors, but... Isn't he so cool? His favorite treat is almonds. I like almonds. He's so friendly. Yeah, he's he's better than most raccoons because he doesn't get into everything. Right? Because he can't walk very well. He can't well. walk very well. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, he's doing a great job. He eats right out the dog bowl. Yeah, we're he's like the best baby ever. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, you're feeling, Aww. you're feeling more supportive. He gave you little kisses. It's okay. It's okay. He's trying to figure out what's up with your hat. It's cool, right? <laughs> you wish you had a hat like me? So they normally only but live two or three years. But when they're in captivity, they can, leave, they can live up to 20 years. Yeah. Wow. Because they're so crazy. That's what I was saying. I was like, even though he can't really walk that well, I bet his life is probably a lot better than wild yeah, he's got a great quality. He's walking really good right now. He perked his ears up. You cute. He holds my hand. Look. Look like how he grab, grips onto my fingers. He said, feed me, feed me more. Okay, here you go. Do it like I do it, self approve it every time it's getting better. So cool and no fooling that you gotta wear your sweater or a hoodie, but you still like goody goody. It's meta. Then I go snake on them like a skin cheddar. I'm vegan, but I'm still wanting the need and the cheese and the cheddar. Not teasing and even taking the time to be sharing the reason I'm fed up with the feta. Support me on Patreon, my life, you know it's on. I could be doing it better. 
Like, subscribe, and then share this vlog. Watch the last one, you won't regret it.